We have to invest in big data and all the other things because keeping up with the Joneses is absolutely essential to our survival and the defense of what we've already built and what we've already got. But I think there's something healthy about being honest with yourself and honest with the organization in understanding that that is not the path to growth. That is the path to sustaining what has been built and driving a little more profitability out of it and growing with demographics. And if you're brilliant, you'll get one or two percent above that because you'll have a sequence of smart and lucky innovations to extend some products and do some things like that. If you really want to build a growth company, we have to dismantle and reconsider how products are built, how new products are brought to market. We have to get away from the idea that it's $100 million to launch a product. Nonsense. I could launch a product for $5 million easily. Now, the difference is you've got to then give me five years to bootstrap it so it's big enough that it matters to people like you. And many of them will fail along the five-year path. But if we launch enough of these things and we have a process to manage it, you can get there. And if you really want to build a growth company, it's not about what we don't know. It's about unlearning some of the stuff that is just so core to what we know that it's hard for us to realize how much it's getting in the way of becoming the growth company that we really aspire to be.